Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Time right now is 718 on your Wednesday morning. If you're just waking up and you're peeking outside your window, you might want to go back to bed because it's really, <laughs> really dreary outside. If you can. Yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of those early spring days where we had a lot of clouds and showers around. It'll sort of be like that weather pattern through the rest of the week. Of course, we could use the rain, but this weather pattern also does something else very useful for us and it sweeps the wildfire smoke out of here. Check out the forecast for the rest of today. You can see a broad swirl in the smoke plume. This is an upper level low that moves overhead and it pushes all of the smoke farther to the south. Now, while this is good news for us, if you know anybody in New York City, the Hudson Valley or out towards Buffalo, Syracuse, Watertown, Unfortunately, it looks like another tough day of air quality concerns that may last into tomorrow, but you can see the clearer air extending farther to the south. And obviously this is something we'll have to monitor for a little while going forward. Unfortunately, those fires aren't going anywhere. Locally, the weather will be showery and cool for the next several days. Today should be the chilliest day with highs only getting to the mid and upper 50s. Remember, our average high this time of year is around 75, so it's way below normal, similar to what we'd find in the middle of April. We'll have some improving air quality. I'm happy to tell you the air quality alerts have been dropped this morning, and we do trend a little bit drier and warmer with more sun by the weekend. So weekend plans look to be in better shape than well, what we've got right now. Here's the upper level low backing into Maine. It's a persistent northerly flow that brings us the showers all the way through Friday. Now these won't be terribly heavy showers, probably misty on and off rain showers like we sometimes see in early spring. It's hard to even detect on the radar. Yeah, we've got some wetness north of Burlington towards Milton and Plattsburgh, also into northern Clinton County, but nothing really world breaking showing up on storm tracker right now. These showers extend to about Rutland and Lebanon. I do think southern Vermont is a little bit drier through this stretch, but there should be some rain showers that reach Bennington and Brattleboro from time to time. Starting off in the 40s and 50s this morning, we'll make it close to 60 this afternoon with on and off rain showers expected. We'll rinse and repeat and do this all over again tomorrow. I do think temperatures trend slightly warmer, probably low 60s, less coverage of rain showers, and then the rain will start to fill in again as we approach Friday. But the big message here, even though we have several days of light showers, it doesn't do a whole lot to mitigate the drought that we're finding ourselves slipping into. You could see all the way through Friday evening, we only manage a tenth to maybe a quarter inch of rain. And even though it cleans up the dust and pollen, it's not going to do too much to irrigate fields to the degree they need to be after the drought we've uh, found ourselves in. 70s this weekend, and we'll track a few thunderstorms early next week. Back to you.